What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here and today I want to show you guys how you can game share with a friend locally or how you can game share with a friend that may not even be in the same state you're in. Now I just bought a PlayStation 4. This is my second PlayStation 4 and I was told by PlayStation that it wasn't even possible to game share the same way you can on PlayStation 3. So I took that information I balled it up and I threw it out the window with the garbage and now I'm here and I'm going to tell you guys how you can share your awesome PlayStation 4 games with anyone else who has a PS4. You must first be the primary PSN account holder on the system. Now being the primary PlayStation account holder will allow access to all users on that system. Anyone who logs into the primary system can play all your games. DLC and they'll even have access to your PlayStation Plus. Now in order to game share locally you must log into your new PlayStation 4 and download your content from the PlayStation Store to your library. Now all content previously bought will transfer to the new system that you're logged into. Just make sure you use the same information that you used for your primary account on your first PlayStation 4. Now on your primary PlayStation 4, allow all your friends and family to log in, whoever you want to game share with in your house. Let them log in. Now remember that your primary PS4 allows anyone with an account on it to have access to all your games, DLC, your PlayStation Plus, anything. Now on your new PlayStation 4, after you log in and you download all the games that you want to play, you can now play online or offline games. All your DLC and PlayStation Plus stuff will be transferred to your new PS4 whenever you're logged in on that system. You can now play with your friends with only one digital copy of a game because remember they're logged in on the primary system which allows all users to have access and you're logged into the new PlayStation 4 that is not your primary system. Just keep in mind you can log in anywhere and play your games. Your primary system allows anyone to log in. Now there's a few notes I want you guys to remember. Only one account can be the primary account on the PlayStation 4 at a time. Uh, anyone who logs into the PlayStation 4 that you have content on but that PlayStation 4 is not your primary system will be blocked by Sony uh, and the PSN from having access to any content that they didn't personally buy. So that's not your primary account. If you download all the stuff onto a new console that's not your primary account, you will only have access to that. Uh, this is a security protocol that Sony put in place to stop or at least limit unlawful game sharing. Boo. Now, in order to game share with a friend from a distance, you will need to get their PlayStation Network identification, their information. Note that you should only game share with a friend or family member that you really trust. I can't drive that home enough. You, this has to be someone that you trust implicitly, that you have no fear that they will screw you over. Uh, the other user needs to give you their PSN email address and their password. And once you enter their information um, into your system, you will need to make your PlayStation 4 their primary system. So you're going to deactivate your PS4, you're going to reactivate it and make it primary with their account. This will allow all users to have access to the games that that person is sharing with you. And anything they paid for, any DLC, any PlayStation Plus will be accessible from your system. Now keep in mind, this is not local. This is someone you know that lives far away. The person that you're game sharing with will also need your information so they can be able to have access to the games etc that you have paid for. Uh, okay so once they make your account their primary account on the PS4 they have they can play all your games while still having access to all their games and DLC that they paid for as well because they're logged in on a system that's their secondary system. Game sharing is awesome but you should always be very wary and make sure that you only use game sharing with a person that you trust 100 percent you can play their games and you'll still have access to your complete library at the same time it's pretty simple i hope i put this out in a way that you guys are under understanding and i hope it's digestible to you guys and that now you know how it's done how you can game share if you found this tutorial helpful please like the video and subscribe to the channel i hope you guys did i'm the beastly gamer and i'll see you guys next time